For my entertainment setup, I use Philips Hue LED light strips with the Hue Sync box. While working on my TV console, I noticed that the LED strip that I use was no longer working right. It wouldn't display any colors and would only stay solid white. There's a lot of tutorials out there on how to fix the soldering on one of these light strips, but I also had something else in mind that I wanted to do with my console. So I searched around for a six pin LED strip. From top to bottom, this is what the wires mean. C is for bright white, B is for blue, G is for green, R is for red, FW in this case is soft white, or in other LED strips, it'd be yellow, and VCC is the input voltage. When looking online for a replacement strip, it's important that these inputs are all the same, even if they're labeled slightly different. But they all are the same corresponding wires. The LED strip also has the colors in a different order, but it all works the same. It's also very important that you get the correct voltage. In this case, it was 24 volts. I wanted to make sure all the connections were correct. So I set up a test terminal. Here you can see all the colors corresponding directly, except for the brown wire, which is attached to the yellow wire. There was only a couple of wires out of order. It goes voltage, white, soft white, or yellow, blue, red, green. After testing, I found that it worked perfectly. I was very happy with this replacement LED strip. It was almost twice as bright as the original Philips Hue LED strip. This is how I chose to make the connection. The replacement LED strip had pre-soldered wires that I went ahead and used. For each of the wires, I soldered the two connections. Then I used an electrical shrink wrap to cover the connection, and then one large tube to cover all of those. This prevents any wires being pulled loose accidentally or having an accidental short. I was very happy with the finished product, which is what led me to make this video. Here's what the replacement LED strip looked like. The reason why I didn't do a simple fix, but replaced it, it was so that I could break it up into different segments. I wanted the same LED strip to shine downwards and on these two panels. That way, when I use my Philips Hue sync box, all of the colors displayed on the bottom of the TV are displayed in the console and below the console on one LED strip. I was so impressed with the brightness and quality change that I replaced the original LED strip on two other models that I own. A link in the description, the replacement LED strip that I prefer. Thanks for watching and thank you for your time.